Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim with another movie review of a 2023 movie. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. This movie was titled Dark Lullabies, an anthology by Michael Columbine, Col Columbi. Uh, it's got three point star rating, but it's only 39 um, cast member ratings. So, um, yeah, so there's there's some interesting debate. While doing my research after watching this film, Tubi and a, uh, also another app list this movie as being a 2020 film. And IMDb lists it as a January 27th, 2023 release. Um, Plex lists it as a 2023 film and that is actually the channel i watched it on and it's listed as 2023 on the director's imdb page and the director was michael cole um b uh if that is a shock it's right there in the title of the movie um uh, and this is an anthology anthologies um man are tough for me sometimes. I like the short segments of anthologies. I like it when there's creative stories under this umbrella of an of a opening sequence and then it wraps around at the end. Or you have like a character at the beginning of a film telling the story and then we see that story in action and then it leads to another story. And then at the end something that links them all together happens. But I really don't like movies released that are anthologies that are just very unrelated and the movie itself is one hour and 33 minutes and there are like nine segments that I was able to count and some of them were just awful and some of them were okay and I, I hate sitting through like three awful stories that are so dull and boring to get to one very, very short portion of a movie um, that's that's good. So there was, let's see, I wrote, out of the nine, I did do a top three uh, favorites. Um, my third favorite was a segment called Love Me Not. My second favorite was a segment called Soundbite. And my most favorite short of all of these was Stock. And they are the three shortest segments in this entire nine segment anthology. Um, I don't know. I wasn't super thrilled about it. Uh, it's available on a lot of different channels to be real chill. I, I think there's even another movie called Dark Lullabies. Um, I, I don't know if it's the same as this, but it doesn't have the by Michael Coleman B at the end of it. Another thing that was a little distracting to me, or a little just like, because I sit through all of the end credits of all the movies, uh, just in case that there's like a scene set at the end or, it's, or a name pops up that I recognize. Um, this had no music for the end credits, like no sound, no music. Very, very strange. And the end credits were super long. Like they were, I think I counted 15 or 17 minutes long just for the end credits because each segment um, did its own end credits in different fonts, different styles, different, you know, it wasn't always all the up screen scroll. Um, but no music was put to them at all. So each segment in order had its own set of... Um, which is, I guess, probably normal, but it just, because of the no music and because of how slow they scrolled it, it just, it was a little off-putting to sit through, like, 15 minutes of end credits. But, I don't know. I like anthologies more than found footage films still at this point, but this one didn't hit for me. Uh, if you do go on to Tubi or one of these other streaming services and watch this, let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm being a little too harsh on this or... Uh, if I need to continue to revisit anthologies or just not waste my time anymore. So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be just
Vem cá, 